Hi, this is Jared from Shunome, and tonight we're going to talk about the modify wall menu. Um, I think this is a great function of ARCHICAD that is just going to help you make cleaner models. Um, so what I'm talking about is if you go to design over to modify wall, it's these three options. We're really just going to talk about um, reference line and invert direction. Uh, to be honest, let me go ahead and just open up the menu. Um, this structure function I I never use so we're not going to cover it. Um, basically it's going to allow you to replace one composite structure with another one and control where the wall thickens or grows from. I think it's a great function, it's just something that I don't use often. Um, so let's go ahead and start talking about the parts that I do use. Um, Let's go ahead and select these. Uh, the reference line, this is one I use a lot. Um, there's kind of two, two main functions of it. One is just swapping the reference line from one side of the wall to the other, and the other is moving that reference line in relation to the core. Again, I think this is pretty powerful over here. I really just use this option, invert all sides. What it's going to do, if you look down here, uh, this line with the, the nodes, those are the reference lines. If we click this, it's going to keep the wall in the same position, swap the reference line to the other side. So let's go ahead and do that. So you see now the reference lines went to the other side, which in this case actually um, disassociated everything because now the reference lines no longer touch. Um, but now I'll show you why that's useful to you. If you look at these reference lines, and I'm going to go ahead and turn off clean wall and beam intersections so you can see this reference line is here, this reference line is here, that reference line is right there. Um, and what's happening is since these reference lines aren't touching, the walls aren't merging. I could make them merge that way, I could make them merge this way, but these three walls aren't connecting properly. But if I were to take this wall here, go up to modify wall, reference line, invert all sides, so just this wall is going to switch from this side to that side. Now we've got it nice and clean. Uh, so I find I use that swapping reference line a lot on projects when walls aren't cleaning up. You just select one wall, swap its reference line from one side to the other and see what happens. Now you could have done that just over here in the info box by switching that then manually moving it down, then dragging it over, clipping it off, and then, you know, doing something, blah, blah. Like, that would, that should work too, but that's just a pain, having to move this wall and everything. There's just a lot of room for error. So, modify wall, reference line, swap. Great solution. The other thing I use a lot is, um the invert direction. Now, you may not realize, I'm going to turn off clean wall and beam intersections, walls have directions. So we can look here, this arrow has is the reference line side, and you can see it's got a little direction, in this case pointing to the left on the screen. If we go over here, there's two walls, arrows are going in different directions. Um, that direction is controlled by how you draw the wall, so I started on the left, went to the right, started on the right, went to the left. Those walls go in opposite directions. Why that's important is if we now open this section, or elevation, and look at those, those two here, that wall and that wall, are this wall and this wall. And you can see it's the same material, CO1, CO1, but the pattern is going in a different direction. So we can go to modify wall invert direction. Now, pattern matches, go back to the plan, arrows match. That is fabulous. Um, I use that a lot. I have a stipple pattern for my um, chipboard walls, and when you stack walls like I have here, you can ever so slightly see the pattern is sometimes not aligned, um, and you can just reverse the walls. I'm using this kind of crazy double diagonal wall line just to make it easier for us all to see. So what I've done here is got 
some walls stacked, you can see they're not lining up properly. Um, so you can just do modify wall, invert direction, and now everything's great. Now, what I've done up here, uh, invert direction, can't do that because that's a slab, not a wall. So when you have a situation where you've got a bunch of walls um, stacked and also a slab, you have one or two options. Either you take the walls and have them match the slab. Um, two, I'm going to try this. I probably should have checked it before I start recording. I'm going to mirror this slab, see if that does anything. Okay, that actually did work, but you can see that pattern's still not properly aligned. So, um, what I suggest you do is not line up slabs and walls. So if this were a building and these were a bunch of walls, and this was, say, the, the floor of the building, I would actually um, pull this away and draw another thin, like, half-inch thick wall for sheathing and have all my walls stack and not um, have to stack slabs and walls together, but try and keep them uniformly walls for the purposes of um, matching patterns of materials. Um, or, as I'll probably show in another video, in my models I skip this whole process altogether by sheathing my whole building in a um, another layer of whatever siding, whether it's lap siding or vertical siding, and just make that a separate element which can span all the stories. Um, but I think that is all. Um, just to kind of recap, modify wall. You can go to design, modify wall here. Um, it can actually also be added to a toolbar. It's this little down arrow. In version 11 and earlier, it used to have this big old button that said modify wall. I loved it, but now it's a not so convenient little arrow that looks just like all these other ones. Um, but it's a great tool, and my favorite parts of it are, again, the invert direction for swapping it back and forth. Um, and let's go down. Going to that. Modify wall, swapping the reference line, keeping the wall in the same place. So I uh, hope you learned something, and um, thank you very much.